the Tropical Weather Briefing for Sunday, August 18, 2013. The National Hurricane Center has dropped mention of the broad area of low pressure over the Gulf of Mexico. At this time, there is a 0% chance of tropical formation with this system before this low pressure system moves into northeast Mexico and deep south Texas on Monday. Further to our east, Tropical Depression Erin is not likely to be an issue for Texas. The cyclone continues to move into a more hostile environment. Dry air and upper level wind shear will likely degenerate Erin to a remnant tropical low within the next 12 to 24 hours. Looking at this morning's visible satellite imagery, we have a, bro a broad, poorly organized area of low pressure extending from Florida and Alabama down to the Bay of Campeche. There is no tight, well-defined low-level circulation with this system, and none is expected to develop before landfall on Monday. Looking at this morning's water vapor imagery, you can see we have dry air riding down the eastern side of an upper-level ridge that is currently centered over West Texas. This dry air is causing subsidence, or sinking air, as this low pressure system approaches the Texas and Mexican coast. At the same time you have the subsidence, we have strong upper level wind shear that's limiting any deep convective development with this low pressure system. What we expect for the next 24 hours, this broad area of low pressure will continue to move westward with time. Dry air flowing out of Texas will minimize the impact on the upper Texas coast, but you will have some showers and thunderstorms forming along deep south Texas and northeast Mexico on Monday. Our chances of rain on the upper Texas coast will increase Tuesday through the remainder of the week as several weak impulses move in behind this low pressure system. Winds will be from the east southeast at 10 to 15 knots with seas running from 1 to 2 feet. As far as impacts go, impacts should be minimal for the upper Texas coast. For the remainder of the week we should have east and southeast winds at 10 to 15 knots with seas running 1 to 2 feet. At this time for the next seven days we expect less than one inch of rain to fall over the area. This concludes this briefing.